Okay guys, so here I am. I'm at Ball Horticultural in West Chicago. I'm getting ready to go inside and tour their seed lab. It's the biggest one in North America of its kind. I am just super excited that we're gonna get a behind the scenes tour. Let's go inside and check it out. Hey guys, so this is Teresa. And what are we looking at here, Teresa? Uh, we're doing a germination test. This isn't a plug plant. So when we do germination tests, we wanna make it um, very relevant to a grower. So we're using a commercial flat, commercial soil. We do what we call a dibble. We mm -hmm. run a little little bar over here to this make is, the center. This is a really neat one. We don't have one quite that fancy, oh, but I do okay. notice the tray. Yeah. That's cool stuff. So now Adela is going to show us how we do the sewing. We actually okay. sew on a plexiglass plate here. And wow. so she's going to be sewing uh, 96 pellets into one rep. So what she's going to do is uh, for each test we do, we do like either three or four reps and so she's going to do one in this tray one in this one one the other she's got a vacuum line so she basically can turn the vacuum on and off so while the vacuum's on it'll stick to the plate and when she hits her foot pedal it'll discontinue and then the seeds will fall down into this flat here very interesting so what she's doing i noticed there's exactly one seed per cell yes so that's very very important for her from a testing standpoint absolutely that's mm -hmm. a very neat contraption Yes, uh, uh, it saves us a lot of time. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need one of those, definitely. Yes, we do. Okay. All well, right. thank you. Great. All right, Teresa, so what is this thing right next to us? Well, this is our watering tunnel. Okay. So after we do uh, our sowing, we have to go ahead and water in that flat. Got to water it in. The most important thing that we do when we're sowing a test is to get it watered in properly. Okay. So Danielle's going to put the flat through here behind me. Hey, Danielle. Hi. <laughs> so it's going to go through a bell here. It's going to get a cover of vermiculite. Certain, okay. Certain crops uh, grow better with a vermiculite cover. And then uh, we're going to actually water it through here. So it just comes right on down the line, gets a yep. nice even coating of mist. Yes. So this, this keeps it very, very uniform. Again, everything we do here seems to be very, very, very uniform. uniform. Mm -hmm. The amount of water we use is very consistent. So we okay. give it a little bit more water if it has vermiculite on it. Okay. And if we don't, then a little bit less. But each okay. tray gets the same amount. Okay, so we're going in a mist chamber. Most uh, commercial growers will have a chamber where the actual germination starts. So we're going to put this into this mist chamber, about 100% relative humidity, and this is where the germination starts. So we're going from the germination chamber into another chamber, right? Yeah, so this is our mist chamber, and then we're going to go into our growth chamber. Okay, very cool. Right. It's a little bit more light in there, maybe. Yes, a lot more light, and then light. we have um, automatic watering. Awesome. Yeah. All right, let's check right. it out. Okay. Oh, wow, look at this. Definitely a lot more light in here. Yes. We call these our growth chambers. Okay. And this is where the germination actually uh, progresses. We go from early germination in the mm -hmm. mist to actual leaf expansion out here okay. in the chambers. Mm -hmm. Now, how long may something sit in here, depending on what it is, I guess? Well, the shortest crop time we have is about six days. Okay. And the longest is about 28 days. Okay. Once it's ready to go, I guess you take it and go into further study and uh, see all the different results that you get. So what we do is uh, is we'll go ahead and take these flats and we'll run them through our seed view machine. Okay. Which we'll show you in a minute. Okay. 